This is my vinyl turntable setup with the Audio-Technica LP60 with Bluetooth and it is driven by the uh, Fossey Audio V3 mini amplifier with paired with the Sony bookshelf speakers. The Audio-Technica LP60 is the perfect automatic turntable. It performs just the way I expected. Everything about its st start, stop, the pause, the manual um, action uh, interaction of this needle, of this tone arm is very well designed. Uh, I've been using this setup for a long time now. Recently added the amplifier. Uh, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about this. You are hearing an audio sample from the uh, bookshelf speakers from Sony as well. These are passive speakers. Now let me show you uh, the operation of the LP60. You can use this button to raise or lower the tone arm. When, once it's raised, you can move it to another location to skip the track and lower it again. There is no weight adjustment to worry about. It is just one single button operation. Once it's moved back to its original position, that uh, record will stop spinning. You can press the button again to lower the tone arm. So it's sitting kind of secu secured here, but there is no bracket to uh, really lock it down. There is a stop button and a start button. Once you press this button from its original position, it raises the tone arm moves to the location, to the starting point, and drops the needle. Then the record starts playing. Uh, you can press stop, and it will return automatically to that position. When the record finishes playing, it will go back to the original position and drops the needle as, as well. Uh, it will automatically detect the blank area there is also a 7 inch or 12 inch size selection. Basically, it's 33 and 45 RPM selection. Let me start playing again. Or if you immediately press stop, it will not stop. That's something to keep in mind. You will have to wait for it to complete the whole sequence. Then it will be able to stop. See? Although I didn't even touch it uh, after pressing the stop, it just has to go through that uh, order every, every every single action before it can be stopped. Then I can also do this. It will also automatically start. I wouldn't recommend it because you might want to use this um, raising feature as well, raising tone arm feature as well to make it start and drop it because, um, you know, a little hand movement could may damage the needle or damage the record itself. Therefore, I was, you know, trying to use start and stop instead of manually do this or at least when it's in its raised position. And that's that's a better, better one. Um, the speed setting, 33, 45, that probably need to be used in combination with this thing, with this thing as well, with the size of the disc. Um, then there's a Bluetooth pairing and the adapter. I never use the, um, you know, the old kind of vinyl record, so I'm not even sure what is the appro appropriate way of using this piece. So I'm not gonna talk about that. Probably I was wrong about the size selection as well. So usually we have 12 inch, the seven inch at least it will be able to detect it where the needle starts, I think, because it will be, the diameter of the disc will be smaller. So it will, I guess when the, the starting point will not be here, it will be inside. I guess that is what this sixth selection is for. Uh, and 35, 40, 33, 45 is for older discs. It's spinning at a faster pace. So 45 it needs to be used as it contains less information, has to spin faster. Well, and coming back to the Fossey Audio um, amplifier, this thing is a fully analog. Let me move my camera here. It only has, it's uh, designed for audio fires. 
So you uh, turn this knob to change the volume. That's it. Doesn't do anything else. There's no Bluetooth, no uh, high or low, um, you know, uh, treble or bass adjustments. It's just very, very simple volume. That's it. The volume also serves as an on off switch. I can turn it off, turn it on. Then the input goes in here. That's the uh, line out from the turntable from uh, Audio Technica. Let me stop the record from spinning so I can show you what, what's behind. Okay, put the dust cover back. So keep in mind, I'm using the phono and line selection here. So phono is not used. If you use phono, um, the volume will, will be very low here. So it's not appropriate unless you have a phono preamp. Uh, that's more like a decoder, right? Equalizer. The audio out is analog out is a 3.5 jack. It's no RCA connection. Uh, and the, vo the power supply, very, very simple in the back. And this is a 3.5 to RCA connection to the amplifier. Then two sets of uh, speaker output to the uh, Sony bookshelf speakers. Sounds fantastic. It also has the pre-out. I believe that one should be used for um, subwoofers that, you know, uh, I don't have that. So I have a, the purest analog amplifier set up on the desk. Everything is analog. Unless the chip is used uh, inside is is digital. It's a class D something um, amplifier, which um, I, I really I'm no expert of that. But, you know, trying to get the purest uh, amp for this kind of setup. If you want the preamp, I believe Fossey Audio has a um, that um, vinyl phono preamp. You can use it stack it up uh, have a good heat dissipation here very well made uh well designed product I, I like this one a lot okay let's spin the record again close up yeah works beautifully raise the arm Pick another song, drop the needle, turn on the volume. All right, thanks for watching.